And other news this noon today is day two of the murder trial of Joshua Huberters. He is charged with killing Temple University student Jenna Burley. You know, for the first time, we're learning in detail how the defendant allegedly tried to cover up the crime. Our Matt Petrola was inside the courtroom this morning and joins us live now from the Criminal Justice Center in Center City. Matt. Hi, good afternoon to you. Yeah, today the cousin of the defendant took to the witness stand here at the Criminal Justice Center explaining how he and the defendant carried a heavy box out of the defendant's North Philadelphia apartment the same day police say Jenna Burley was killed. Josh Huppertis is accused of brutally punching, stabbing, then strangling 22-year-old Jenna Burley at his North Philadelphia apartment just as Burley was starting a new school year at Temple University. Prosecutors allege it happened just after the two met at Pub Web near Temple in the early morning hours of August 31st, 2017. Today during trial, a cousin of the defendant named Eric Carlson took to the witness stand. Carlson testified he came over Huppertis' apartment that day to smoke marijuana when Huppertis asked him to move a big plastic box prosecutors call a tote from his North Philly apartment to his mom's house in Jenkintown. Today, prosecutor Danielle Burkavich asked Carlson, did he tell you what was in the tote? Carlson said no, it was about 100 pounds. Burkavich, did you ask questions about it? Carlson, no, I just said, dang, this is heavy. Security video was then displayed to the jury, showing Carlson and Huppertis carrying the tote to Carlson's car. And Carlson later testified that he and the defendant uh, then moved the tote into his mom's garage, the defendant's mom's garage. Meantime, it is another packed court day inside the Criminal Justice Center. So tomorrow, uh, it's being moved to another courtroom here just so more people are able to, to view because of all the people inside. Reporting live at the Criminal Justice Center, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.